Welcome to the Smarter Science of Slim, the scientifically proven program where you eat more and exercise less to burn fat and boost health. Eat smarter, exercise smarter, live better. I am so ready for that. Hey, everybody, Jonathan Baylor back with round three. Round three, we are only three weeks away, three or four weeks away. I can't remember. (laughs) It's been a long day. It's been a long day from the launch of the Calorie Myth book, which is coming out New Year's Eve, 1231. No better way to ring in the new year, a new you, a new mindset, a new future, than to free ourselves from these calorie myths. There's a mythical calorie math that is simply ridiculous and has been disproven, but continues to be taught to each and every one of us as if it were fact. It is, of course, false, and we prove that definitively, endorsed by top doctors at the Harvard Medical School, Johns Hopkins, UCLA, and ridiculously amazing and generous best-selling authors like Dr. Mark Hyman, Dr. Sarah Gottfried, J.J. Virgin, Dr. Christian Northrup, Dr. Mike Moreno of the 17-Day Diet, just an amazing all-star cast of people coming out to support the Calorie Myth book. I'm so honored. I'm so excited for you guys to read it. Check it out. It's been about a 15-year journey creating this, and you're basically looking at me on paper. I, I've poured everything that I have into this book and I I hope it can help you as much as it's helped me, my loved ones, and the tens of thousands of people who have already put it into play. But enough said there. Again, it's caloriemythbook.com. Caloriemythbook.com is where you can pre-order and when you pre-order, you get all sorts of bonus videos, recipes, how-to guides, shopping lists, printable workouts, just good stuff. But what's even better is story three of six to help illustrate the ridiculousness of this metabolic math, calorie myth nonsense we continue to get taught. And today's special guest is Sarah. Sarah is a 29-year-old accountant. I, I picked an accountant because my dear best friend and beautiful wife, Angela, is a wonderful tax manager here in downtown Seattle, CPA as brilliant and delightful as she is beautiful. But in this story, we're, we're, we're chatting about another accountant, Sarah. Sarah's 29 years old. She's an accountant. And to make sure that she accounts, get it? <gasps> Sorry, that's lame. For every a calorie she eats, which is technically what we're all told to do. We need to be little metabolic accountants, right? Keeping our little balance sheets about every little bit we eat and exercise, which of course is ridiculous. But let's say that Sarah is able to do this because she is a highly trained in accountant. So To ensure that she can account for every calorie in, she only eats the little foods that have those little nutrition facts labels on them. So nothing that's really natural because, of course, natural things do not come in packages. So we do not see nutrition facts on them. But she's eating everything she can find with nutrition facts on them. And she's happy because because of these little nutrition labels, she's able to do, quote unquote, precise calorie counting. To be clear, she does not eat anything unless she can count all of the calories in it, which of course requires her to only buy packaged foods that contain calorie counts in the first place. She does this, but here's the unfortunate thing. Besides the fact that she's eating all this processed nonsense garbage and doing math instead of enjoying life, Sarah is trying as hard as she can to be precise. But food labels have been shown to be at best 90% accurate. Now that might not seem like a big deal, but in the fictional fat loss world where calorie math and calorie myths reign supreme, that is a huge error. Because like any normal person, Sarah eats about a million calories per year. A 10% margin of error in a mythical calorie math world leads to her massively messing up her caloric balance, specifically 10% times 1 million calories per year is 100,000 calories per year. Incorrectly balancing her calories in the mythical metabolism math world would mean that she could gain or lose 28 pounds of body fat per year, depending on whether or not she calculated wrong up 
or calcul- calculated wrong down. Because 100,000 calories per year of miscalculation divided by 3,500 calories in a pound of fat is 28 pounds of fat. So Sarah, who counts every single calorie she eats and only eats foods that allow her to count the calories, she's more precisely balancing calories than anyone else in the world. She could easily gain 280 pounds over the next decade because of reporting errors on nutrition facts labels. Now, of course, that's ridiculous, but That is what should happen if these calorie myths were true. Thankfully, they're false. Thankfully, you and I know that. And thankfully, we will continue to spread that message. And I'm so honored to again have you listening today and would be even more honored if you would help spread that message, get educated, free yourself from these calorie myths by checking out the pre-order awesome bonus bundles at Calorie Myth Book. Dot com. Again, that's CalorieMythBook.com. Thank you for sticking with me through the sales pitch of sorts, but we've got to make a change. And the best way we can make a change is by arming ourselves with the correct information. And I promise you, you will not find any better source of information around incorrect metabolic math and the actual science of the set point than you will in the Calorie Myth Book. CalorieMythBook.com. Chat with you soon. Wait, wait, don't stop listening yet. You can get fabulous free same recipes over at carrybrown.com. And don't forget your 100% free eating and exercise quick start program, as well as free, fun, daily tips delivered right into your inbox at baylorgroup.com. That's B-A-I-L-O-R group.com. 